Good morning guys, how are we? Uh, back out again today, I'm back out in Helen for a beach, I thought I'd come back out and uh, this is the reason why I came back out. Can you see the rocks and the seaweed? The seaweed has been pushed out to sea and it's left a lot of remaining low tidal rocks. I think it should be easy to pick out coins from in amongst this area. This is where I've previously found three, four hundred coins. Today I'm going to be testing two machines. One is an XP Deus and the other one is a Garrett Ace 250. Now, I class the Garrett Ace 250 as a, a nothing more than a toy. Uh, it's entry level into the hobby and uh, it's more or less a kid's machine. That's the way I look at it. A lot of people will look at it different. Uh, I prefer the XP Days or a CTX3030. They're the two machines that I highly recommend. And uh, so, you know, everybody has their, you know, their own income and they, they know what they want out of the machine. You know, they know what machine they want to use. Today, I've, I like using the XP Days on the beach. Produces well. I found gold, I found silver, and I found relics, and I found hundreds of coins in this beach. Way more than most other people have ever found in this beach. So, I'm going to be going around this area, going to give it a go, and uh, hopefully we'll get some nice finds. I also want to show you guys this, uh, basically this is, is red clay. And this is another instance of where you'll find a lot of coins just sticking out the ground, instantly on the ground. And, uh, and this is why, one of the reasons why we're so successful at beach hunts, because we know what we're looking for. And uh, basically, that's just clay underneath that. And uh, this is where... You should be finding lots of coins, so I want to go at it again and just see if I can find anything. Again, the Garrett is getting this one, 84, 85 on the days. Flagging up with being a coin for the Garrett, so we're going to dig it and see what we get. 84, 85. No idea what that is. A ring? Is it a ring? Both machines are getting it. Possibly a bottle top ring. Ah, got me there. As soon as you see something like that under the ground. Bottle top ring. Both of them did well to get it. Could have been it. And this was a 73 in the days and it's picking it up quite well. So I'm going to dig this and just see what it is. What I did mean to say was uh, the 73 the Doos, had I had, I heard that with the Doos, had I walked over it. And it's exactly what I thought it was going to be, a bit of tin. I just want you to take a listen to this. I think that's a coin even though it's just slightly squeaking. So. Is 250 isn't getting it. I think it's a coin, so I'm going to dig it and I'll get back to you in a little minute. 94. Garrett wants to get in it, but uh, the day is for us, but I don't know what it is. It is possibly a badge. I think it's a badge. Right, let's just walk down to the first puddle we can find. We'll just walk down to the sea. That's definitely a little badge or medallion. The thing about uh, beach hunting is it's, it's hit and miss. You can hit an area one day, get nothing, and then go back a week later and it's not sanded in and get 10, 20 signals. That area there in particular has produced quite a lot of, a lot of finds. Wow, look at that. Wow, absolutely amazing. Look at that for a little badge. Hey, eh? is that know why you came out to the beach? Hey, eh, I wonder what that's off of. That is absolutely lovely. Yeah. That was worthwhile doing a beach hunt for that today alone. Wow, absolutely lovely. I need to look that up, that's a crest for something, so... Almost looks like a king there. Wow, that could be really old. That one was coming up a 74, 72. And it's a coin, it's just a 10 pence, but 
the Garrett East 250 was getting it as well. So yeah, the Garrett is definitely capable of getting coins on the beach. This is not too kind of irony here, but hey, uh, I'm just going to go around in this area. I've previously found quite a lot of relics in this area, so hopefully we'll get some more. Tide's creeping in, so probably about another hour or two on the beach. And then hopefully I'll have some nice finds. 83 on the Garrett. Nothing. Watch this. 83 in the deuce. Exact same area, so Garrett's missed this again, so we'll dig it up and see what it is. Well, that's not but about three inches, look. You can see my hand doesn't even fit in the hole. There's a coin. Garrett missed it. Deuce got it. And this is why I choose the Deuce over the Garrett. I don't mean any harm by calling it a toy or a, a kid's entry level into a hobby. It's just that I think that a Garrett Ace 250 misses a lot compared to an XB Deuce, a CTX. Even an AT Pro is pretty good on the beach. But that for me just doesn't cut it. And uh, I'm going to have to wipe this. I'll get back to you in a little second. It's a half penny, but I don't know who it is. But I'll give it a wee wipe and I'll get back to you. Very hard to see that. That's what I do like about the beach when you get a coin, they come up nice and shiny. And that is a, I think it's a George V or a Queen Victoria. It's one of the two. Half penny. Deus did well picking it up, two or three inches, Garrett missed it. I mean, say no more. Uh, I mean, they do train Supreme on the beach. I just don't get how the guys down south don't find anything. I mean, the only thing I can think of is the beaches have been hammered. I mean, because most of the west coast of Scotland beaches are absolutely loaded with coins and relics. Absolutely loaded. So guys, take a listen to this. That is a 89. I think that's a coin. Let's see what the Garrett thinks it is. It's jumping between a... I don't know, I think a medium to a large coin. The Davis thinks it's a... Well, I think it's a penny. Uh, I, I do, I think it's like a penny, it's going to be like a George Fifth penny. So we're going to dig it and we'll let you know what we get. Got to love it when you're right, eh? Don't I know my beach hunt signals or don't I know my beach hunt signals? There you go. Both got it, which was really good. And it's a, a big George Fifth penny. Now I could tell by what the Garrett was jumping at there that that was a medium to big size target. Of course, an 89 on the machine is generally always a penny. So, I had a rough idea, but now I know when it kind of jumps like that in the Garrett, what it is. Yeah, it's a pretty simple machine, but that's another big George V penny. So guys, in the XP days, this was jumping up as an 88. Garrett's saying it's foil, so it might be, so we'll give it a dig and just see what it is. I think it could be a coin. Garrett's wrong, I'm right. 88 and it's a coin. I think it's a modern day penny, but it just goes to show you it's worth a dig if you get foil, because I've just dug out a coin and it was coming up for foil. I knew it was a coin, I could just tell with that machine that it's a coin, yeah, the Garrett was given foil. Classic example of how people walk over coins. Again, take a listen to the XP days. 89. Crystal clear. Now let's take a listen with the Garrett. Garrett's saying it's a big coin. Uh, I would tend to agree, it looks like, sounds like a penny signal with XP Deuce in 89, so we'll dig it and we'll see. Both of them rain supreme, got that signal, but it is just a bit of lead. But that was crystal clear by the Garrett, so one thing you can guarantee is if it's big, the Garrett will pick it up. There you go, big bit of lead. There we go, Garrett didn't pick that up, but the XP Deuce did, and it's another penny. Possibly a Vicky. There you go, Vicky Penny. 
So this is the sound where they get it. And this is the sound where the XP days. 84, 85. That could be a good thing. It could be a glide perhaps, so we'll dig it and we'll let you see what it is. 84, 85 and the Garrett did produce a nice signal for it again. This time it's a big berry. It just goes to show you the Garrett is capable of finding coins here. Now, uh, I've been out here with a few guys and uh, I just don't think they understand how the beaches work. Coins are going to be trapped in here. No, out here in this sand. I think it's different. There will be coins out there, but the majority of it is going to be in here, in these rocks. And again, Raid Supreme. And uh, both machines got it. I think it's another George V. Penny. Here we go, this is the sound of the days. 82, so we're going to dig it, see what it is. Right, guys, the deuce went for an 87, and the garret's gone for a penny as well. They all sound the same, but you can tell by looking at your wee screen here roughly what it is, and it's kind of marking up the 10 cents, 1 cents. And when it does that, it normally kind of sticks to the 10 cents, and that's normally a big penny. There you go, it's gone now. Struggling a little bit to get that now. I really did think that was going to be a coin, but it's some kind of looks like a washer to something with a bit of copper around it. There you go, I did think it was going to be a coin. Both picked it up. The machine's got this signal as well, it's quite big and that looks like the bell of a bike. That's exactly what it is, bell of a bike. Well, we've got a very weak 94 here that the DS is picking up the garret, isn't it? I'm going to dig that and see what it is. There you go, the DS was just struggling to get that. <laughs> it's a half penny. Garrett certainly wasn't, 3-4 inches was covered on its side and on a lot of stones but there you go, the doers did get it and it's another half penny. I'll clean all these up for the roundup. Here is another signal the doers is picking up. 48. Now I wasn't getting it with the Garrett, so let's see. It's struggling. It's not getting it, the Deus is picking it up superbly, I think it could be a modern day coin, so we'll dig it up, we'll see what it is. Here we go right again, and it's another penny. Deus picked it up over there, a nice penny. There you go, both machines got it, 87, big penny. But who are you? You're George V. George V. And you're a big penny. Again, 87, 89. Garrett never got it. Do as did. And it's another penny. And it didn't come out too deep, but an inch. Why the Garrett walked over it, I don't know. She's got it again, a 91. Half penny. Don't know who, but that's definitely a a little half penny. Give it a quick wipe. Fact is not, it's Elizabeth II, two pens. Both machines got it, but it's got a signal there, got nothing on the VDI screen with the doos. It thinks it's a five cents, so I'm assuming it might be a small coin, so I've got to dig it and see what we get. Uh, Garrett Ace says five cents, so it could be a small coin. Well, that's why the doos didn't pick it up on the VDI screen. Bit of iron, and uh, that was picking it up as five cents. God knows why. Right, let's get it in a fine pouch and uh, crack on. 84, just got another coin, two pens. Nothing spectacular, both machines got it again. Just goes to show you if you take the Garrett Ace 250 to the right beach, you will find stuff, and that's proof of it. Plenty of coins found by it today, but no silver, no gold. XPDS didn't find any either, so, you know, it's very rare that you do find it out in the beach, but it does happen if you get the right beaches. Got a jumpy 74 down here. Again, the Garrett wasn't picking it up, so we're going to dig it up and just see what it is. 
Cool guys, 74. Haha. -ha. Oh, we've got a badge. Oh, I don't know what that is. Military titles, perhaps. Wow. Didn't expect that. That's the second one today. Again, the XP desk at that. Look at that. TR. No idea who that is. I'll look that up when I get it home. Possibly a military badge. Now that is a lovely find. Woohoo! So here we go guys, uh, this is a little roundup. Possibly two military, a medallion there anyway, a military badge possibly, a ring for something and a load of coins. Now I'm testing two machines today so I didn't expect a lot of things. The tide's kind of caught up me now and it's right in so uh, that's going to be it for today. But uh, as far as I'm concerned the XP Dave has totally ruled the Garrett S250. So guys, I must say, while we're here comparing these two machines, this is the Garrett S250, this is the XP Deus, and both of the machines really do work well on the beach. First thing I'm going to say about this beach is, it's a non-ferris beach, there's not a lot of iron on this beach, so that's why I brought a Garrett S250 down here to try out, to just to see how it works in a non-ferris beach. Of course, that wasn't the test today, it was just to see if I could find anything with it on this beach, because I know guys have been down here. I got it and not found a lot and as far as I'm concerned if you know what you're looking for and you know what you're doing you should be able to find stuff with that machine I've just proved it today and uh, I'm going to prove how it works on a, 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 a kind of non-ferris beach this is a non-ferris beach I'm going to prove how it works on a ferris beach so I'll take it to the Martin Castle where there's lots and lots of iron in the ground and it should drone like a maniac that's just the way that it should happen until we can assess all the sensitivity down a little bit. But performing well here in a non ferris beach, finding coins and finding relics. Don't get me wrong, it didn't find that medallion, the Deus did pick that up. It may be thought it was junk, so it went over the top of it, but it didn't pick it up. You know, the Deus does reign supreme on beach. I mean, I can't see it. I mean, I really do find a lot of good things with this on the beach. It is a superior machine, I also like a CTX on the beach, another superior machine, haven't used any other beach machines. I've used a Coinmaster GT, I found loads of stuff on the beach for that as well. It's sort of in the same price comparison as a Garrett Ace250, that's a little bit cheaper now. And uh, probably, it's probably just as good as that on the beach. But the thing about the Coinmaster GT, it does perform well in wet beach, you don't get a lot of iron interference. But we'll check this and we'll see how it works in a ferris beach and I think that it's going to struggle dramatically. So on that note guys, I've got to call it a day for this hunt. Good luck, happy hunting and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.